Making regular investments of smaller sums of money is one of the best ways to achieve an ambitious financial goal without feeling daunted by the task ahead. It can also help you keep on track so you can reach your goal faster. People tend not to invest in the financial market citing the issue of cash flow, but these issues don't tend to prevent people from enjoying subscriptions like internet service, gym memberships and smartphone plans. The simple explanation is that subscription services come with instant gratification. When you subscribe to a service, you can enjoy it right away. Investing is a bit different. It's a long-term game in which you might not enjoy the fruits of your labor for years or even decades, making it hard to consistently shell out money to buy into the stock market. In this episode, we'll explain the four benefits of treating investing like a subscription and how to start investing like a subscription service. But before we go too far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next videos about the best investments to include in your portfolio. 1. Resist overspending When you treat investing like a subscription service, you'll be paying yourself first, meaning you won't have as much extra money sitting around in your checking account tempting you to overspend after each paycheck hits. You'll begin to think of your investment contributions like a bill you have to pay to yourself, rather than something optional you do only when you have extra money left over. 2. Investing becomes automatic Humans are creatures of habit. When you treat investing like a subscription, you'll be creating a habit of investing. Once that habit is set, it becomes almost effortless to maintain. 3. Consistently build wealth over time Successful investing is a long-term process. By treating your investments like a subscription, you'll consistently build wealth over time, setting the stage for a strong financial foundation in the future. Treating investments like a subscription works so well that many employers adopt this model with automatic retirement contribution plans, where your contributions are deducted from your paycheck and put to work in the market automatically. 4. Dollar Cost Averaging Automatic investments of the same amount of money each time is also a great way to implement the dollar cost averaging strategy and in many ways simply replicate what your workplace super contributions are doing but with the advantage that the money can be accessed for personal goals, house deposit, holiday, education expenses compared with super which is locked away till retirement. The price of ETFs and shares will fluctuate as markets rise and fall, which means the investments you have will have been purchased at different prices because they were bought at different times. This is a good thing because when prices are up, you'll buy fewer of them. When they're down, you'll buy more. Overall, this strategy will lower the average entry cost into specific assets over time. While lowering the cost of investing is certainly a positive, the most powerful reason to practice dollar cost averaging is that it encourages discipline and removes any behavioral biases or emotional factors when it comes to investing. Investing based on emotional instinct, be that greed or fear, is dangerous. It can be easy to fall victim to market cycles, particularly during periods of volatility, and either panic sell when markets dip or become overweight in particular asset classes when markets boom. Such actions can be detrimental to your long-term investment goals. How to start an investing like a subscription service As with any other rewarding process, setting up a subscription to building wealth on Wall Street will take a little preparation. Here are the steps. 1. Decide how much to invest monthly and start investing now. First, you need to decide how much money you'll be putting into the stock market on an initial and monthly basis. When determining how much money to invest, there are a few factors to keep in mind. Assess your financial situation. You know how much money you make, and you probably have a rough idea how much you spend on bills. But how much money do you need for food, gas and entertainment each month? If you don't already have a budget that answers this question, it's time to create one. Consider taking advantage of employer-sponsored retirement plans. Employer-sponsored retirement plans are great for several reasons. First and foremost, the funds for these plans are taken from your paycheck before taxes, reducing your income tax burden. Consider automatic transfers. It's also a good idea to consider setting up automatic weekly, bi-weekly or monthly transfers from your checking account into your investing account to get the subscription model rolling. Keep your monthly contributions manageable. It's important to make sizable investments on a regular basis in order to take advantage of the power of the stock market, but you don't want to set unreasonable expectations of yourself. 2. Choose an investing strategy once you've got some money set aside to begin investing, it's time to decide which investment strategy you'll follow. 
Investment strategies are important because they give you a set of guardrails for your investing decisions and help you avoid emotional investing mistakes that can lead to losses. 3. Decide what to invest in once you've set your strategy, the next step to setting up your investing subscription is deciding what kind of securities to invest in. Before diving into the stock market, it's important to decide your ideal asset allocation, the mix of asset classes you want to hold. 4. Do your research Next, you'll want to do your research and find investment opportunities that fall in line with the investing strategy you've chosen. The most successful investment decisions are well thought out and well researched. If you're investing in a stock, take the time to look into what the company does, the size of the addressable market it caters to, its profitability, historic performance over the past five-year period, whether it pays dividends, and whether the current share price represents a fair valuation. If you're investing in ETFs, pay attention to historic performance, expense ratio, the assets the ETF invests in, and the investing strategy the fund follows. No matter what asset class you decide to invest in, the more research you do before investing, the stronger your chances of your investments being profitable. 5. Reward yourself One of the hardest parts of sticking to an investment plan is the lack of instant gratification. When you pay for a subscription, you're instantly rewarded with access to the service. It's important to reward yourself for continuing to pay for your investing subscription as well. But how do you do that? Simply keeping track of your investments may provide the instant gratification you're looking for. Think about it. Do you remember when you started saving? How exciting it was to watch the balance in your savings account grow. You weren't using that money right then, but there's a sense of satisfaction in watching your wealth build. Take a moment on a monthly basis to comb through your investment. Most often you'll find that your money has been working hard for you and growing each month, which is rewarding to see. If you're already taking advantage of a plan like this, you're one step ahead. One of the best changes you can make in this situation is to adjust how you look at investing in general. Don't think of it as something that will benefit you only in the long run. Look at investing like a subscription to a wealth building service that comes with instant benefits. That's it for this episode. Please give us your feedback in the comment section below. To watch more episodes on financial topics like this, hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to support us even more, buy us a coffee from the link in the description. Good luck and see you in the next episode.